its house. A chicken coop, which can hold up to five chickens, depending on how large they are. It has two nest boxes, an attached run, and measures 40 by 144 inches, and that includes the 28 by 40 inch roosting coop. Chickens love this one, and it's very quick and simple to keep clean. And because the nest boxes are located on the outside of the coop, daily egg collections can be made without disturbing the roost. Step one is to assemble the base frame. For this, you'll need two pieces of two by four measuring 144 inches and two pieces measuring 37 inches. Firstly, find a nice flat level working area to begin the construction. Then, position the pieces as shown in this diagram and nail them together. Typically, we'd use two nails per connection. You may want to use a framing square to confirm that the base is square prior to moving on to step two. Step two, attach the vertical legs to the base frame. To do this, you need to make six legs. Again, these are two by four, cut to the length of 36 inches. Position the legs according to this diagram and nail them using four nails per connection. Once again, it might be a good idea to use a framing square to confirm that the legs are square before moving to step three. Step three, attach the upper frame to the vertical legs. The upper frame is constructed in the same way as the base frame. Position it as shown in this diagram and nail it flush with the top of the vertical legs. Typically, you'd use four nails per connection. Step four, install the coop floor support. Using two by four, cut two lengths at 28 inches and two lengths at 34 inches. Install the coop floor supports as shown and nail them to the vertical legs using two nails per connection. Step five, install roof trusses. In total, there are eight roof trusses cut from two by four measuring 34 and three quarter inches. These need to be cut as shown in this diagram. Once cut, attach them to the upper frame using four nails per connection. Step six, install the coop floor. Using half inch ply, cut a shape measuring 35 inches by 37 inches. Now cut out the notches as per this detailed shape drawing. Place the coop floor on top of the coop floor supports and fasten them with 40 nails. Step 7. Install the coop front wall and the door opening. The front wall is made out of half inch plywood cut 37 inches by 38 and a half inches. Attach this to the inside of the second truss as shown in the diagram. It can be nailed to the truss and the vertical legs using 4D nails. Step 8. Install the coop sidewall. To do this, once again, half inch plywood cut 16 and a half inches by 35 inches. Step 9. Install the coop back wall. The back wall comprises of five separate pieces, all cut from 12 and a half inch plywood. The first two pieces are exactly the same size, six inches by 15 and a half inches. They are mounted vertically either side of the opening. The third piece is three inches by 25 inches. This is mounted horizontally at the bottom between the two vertical pieces. The remaining two pieces are the gable wall end boards. They are triangular in shape and can be cut from a piece of board measuring 22 inches by 37 inches. However, the shape and the dimensions can be seen more clearly in this diagram. Step 10. Install the coop door. Using two hinges and a latch, attach the door to the vertical legs. Step 11. Install the nest box floor, walls and divider. The floor measures 10 inches by 25 inches. This is attached directly to the back wall. The nest box sides and divider measure 10 inches by 14 and a half inches. Step 12. Install the nest box front and hinged lid. 
attach the nest box front to the floor and to the side walls. To do this, I suggest you pre-drill holes and screw it into place. The nest box front measures 10 inches by 25 inches. Fix the lid in place by using hinges screwed onto the rear gable. The lid measures 12 inches by 27 inches. Step 13. Install a plywood roof deck. Because of the length of plywood available in most hardware stores, I suggest you do this in two sections. The first section requires two pieces to be cut from half inch plywood measuring 35 inches by 96 inches. These pieces are placed either side of the roof. The second section measures 35 by 48, again attached either side of the roof. Step 14. Assemble a ramp. First, make the base of the ramp. This measures 12 inches by 34 inches. Then you need to add something for the chickens to grip onto as they walk up the ramp. I suggest small pieces of wood measuring 3 quarters of an inch by 3 quarters of an inch by 12 inches. Step 15. Install shingles and mesh. Attach asphalt shingles to the roof using roofing nails and a wire mesh to the outside frame using wood staples. Mm -hmm.